Okay, so today what I just want to do is install one of these uh, swing back trailer jacks on this. I really don't need it. It's just that I just want to make it a little bit more convenient for myself um, so that I can lift it up and down and it has a roller on it versus just a solid piece of metal. So let me show you how it's done. Oh, by the way, of course, once again, this is another Harbor Freight deal. Okay, so here's how it comes. Uh, this, you pull this out and it lets you move to a different position. It has a hand crank over here on the bottom of the wheel. So let's just slowly put some of this stuff together. Also comes with two side brackets over here and bolts to hold it together. And here's a bolt that goes over here for the wheel. So let's just put the wheel on. This happens to be a three quarters. Just tight enough so it rope it wheels. This has got a um, locking nut on this side. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I well, basically didn't tell you 100% truth. The one thing I don't like about this is this thing right here. Because um, it's not very stable. Especially when you put it down and you're cutting wood. Put that pin back in there. So I remember once I was I wasn't smart enough and I took off with this down and I broke this pin, snapped this pin. I think it cost me like ten bucks for this pin and I was uh, hard pressed to find one. So it looks like this bracket, I mean this setup comes with varying uh, length holes so that if this bar is longer it, you could find a spot to fit it but since this is a real small one here for me I'm going to use the closest to it. Alright so we have the basic Unit assembly. I'm going to push it as far up to the, well, I just give it a quarter inch away from here. Because what happens is I normally take this off in the winter when I don't use it in case somebody wants to steal it. If they just can't hook it up to their truck and go. They'll have to sort of carry it down the street and let everybody watch them. Maybe somebody will be nice enough to turn them in. neighbor's dogs. Okay, so before I tighten this whole thing up, let me, let me just do a check. Ah, look at that. Hits the bumper. So that means it has to come back just a little bit. And what I think I'm going to do is leave more slack here. In case I want to put this at an angle when I'm putting it up instead of having just perfectly straight perpendicular to the truck in case I come in at a little bit of angle I'll have a little room here 
So, and then I will, now that it's, I know that it's 100%, I will tighten these up. This is what? 17. Okay, that's the lawnmower guy. And the mailman, he's the one who aggravates all the dogs. Good thing they're all inside, because they probably eat them alive. Okay. So, give that a try. Now let's just put the handle on. So it's got a little notch in here, which goes into this little notch. Tighten that up. Once again, that's number 17. There we go. gigantic boat trailer you could just lift it right off the ball and just roll it right out there and with this I guess you just roll it back in here telephone's ringing the mailman's here the guy's cutting the grass is here it is.